Today we begin our adventure as husband and wife. I am so blessed to be on this journey through life with you. You are my best friend and the love of my life, Connor Nicholas. Because of you, my life is abu abundantly filled with true happiness. Over the last seven years, we have come to know each other so deeply, and you have the most beautiful soul. You amaze me, hun. I'm so proud of the man you are, one uh, that is humble, strong, supportive, genuine, adventurous, kind, inclusive, passionate, and God-honoring. Not to mention ridiculously handsome. Today is the day, our day, the first day of the rest of our lives. When I look into your eyes today, I will see our life laid out in them. I will see us standing outside of our first house, playing with our future children, and growing old together. I've pictured all of that with you for a long time by now. But I will also see the tender glance at each other in a room full of people, the face you make when you think something is cute, the embrace upon walking in the door after a long day, and all of the other small moments that make life I wish you could see yourself through my eyes because I am so in love with you. There is no one else I'd rather take on life with, laugh at videos in bed, in bed with, dance in the kitchen, or explore new cities with. Over the last seven years, we have been through so much together. Through all the trials, there was a part deep down in our souls that knew we were meant to be together. I know that it was all a part of God's design in strengthening our relationship. Thank you for giving me your heart. I cannot promise you that I will ever be perfect, but I promise to always try my best. Whatever comes our way, good or bad, know that I will always be by your side. You love me so well. I am in awe that God blessed me with you to be my husband. And yet, all of that dreaming about our life together can wait. Today, I just want to be fully here. I want your walk down the aisle to go in slow motion. I want to linger just a little bit longer after our first dance. I want to feel, genuinely feel, the pure, relentless joy in being surrounded by our bridal party, families, and friends. Above all else, I want you to know how loved you are every moment of this day. You are grace and love and everything else good in this world. You speak and breathe life into people in a way that nobody else can. The light in which you provide to the world cannot be adequately captured by the words on this page. Nor are there even words delicate enough to describe your heart, intelligence, beauty, and fun-loving personality. And yet, for the rest of our lives together, I will never stop trying to find the right words. It is the honor of my lifetime to marry you. Today is the culmination of our undying persistence. It is the result of the friendship that never wavered at the foundation of our relationship. But, most importantly, it can be attributed to our incredible love for each other. We have a unique love story, and I cannot wait to continue writing the pages of our story every single day with you for all eternity. Just like we never gave up in the past, I promise that I will never give up on pursuing you and our love for the rest of my life. I love you. You are my safe place. You are my home. Before we say I do, I want to take a few promise, want to make a few promises to you. I promise to always be your best friend, first and foremost. I will never leave your side. I promise to be your adventure companion and to keep things lighthearted. I promise to challenge you, encourage you, trust you, and support you no matter what. I promise to pursue a God-honoring relationship with you and the family that we create. Today and always, you have my heart. I love you more than I could ever adequately express. I cannot wait to begin this journey of marriage with you. Can't wait to see you soon. Next. Connor. Take you, Megan. Take you, Megan. To be my only wife. 
to be my only wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For rich, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death separates us. To love and to cherish until death separates us. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. To you I pledge my loyalty and my love. To you I pledge my loyalty and my love. I'm Megan. Take you, Connor. Take you, Connor. To be my only husband. To be my only husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death separates us. To love and to cherish until death separates us. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. To you I pledge my loyalty and my love. To you I pledge my loyalty and my love. teaching me how to dress in junior high, for helping me through heartbreaks and fights with mom and dad, for doing so well in school and leaving me with really big shoes to fill, for always being ready to sing David Allen Coe, followed by Wiz Khalifa. Thank you for providing the best sisterly advice, no matter the time of night, for guiding me to have a relationship with God, and thank you for being my best friend. I can't wait to see how your beauty continues to touch this world. From your patience to your future children, I know you will be a light for many. And to Connor, although I am the little sister, I've always been the more protective one. So take care of my girl. My favorite thing about Connor is how much this man actually cares about people. The, he texts me seriously like three times a week asking me how I'm doing. It's like, dude, I saw you like two days ago, I'm fine, you know? It's, it's amazing, you don't see it a lot in people. He just loves people, he, he takes pride in how much he loves people, he just, he's amazing. So, this man has done so much for me in my life and I'm so grateful for him. And I, I saw a quote when I was uh, preparing for this speech that said, marriage is not about finding a person you can live with, it's about finding the person you can't live without. And my friend has absolutely found that. Surviving, some of us just roaming, some of us just hoping the world will move more slowly, and some of us alive, we're all gonna die one day. You're some of us surviving, some of us just roaming, some of us just hoping the world will move more slowly.